Okay, I also want to show you another setup here that was came out this week, and this is a flat bass pattern. I haven't had a video yet on the flat bass pattern, but I wanted to, to talk about this because this is also a very bullish pattern. Now, this was on Facebook, and when you look for a flat bass pattern, what you want to do is you want to put the chart on a weekly time frame first, and from there you can find these, these areas of consolidations where the stock is basically, basically going sideways in a narrow consolidation. Uh, the narrower the better. Make sure that the stock is not a buyout where uh, it's already bought out by another company, in which case the price will go sideways like this, even in a tighter consolidation. But there's no upside because the stock's already been purchased. So you want to be careful that yeah, that stock hasn't been purchased and that's why it's going sideways like this. But, but that's not the case with Facebook here. And with a flat base pattern, what you'd want to do on this weekly chart is look for this horizontal consolidation for at least five to six weeks, okay, before it goes above the uh, the top of the consolidation, which is right up here. And you can see here there was one, two, three, four, five, six weeks before the breakout, and that's about ideal. You know, Facebook is one of the top growth stocks in the market. We we featured this stock back in I think it was 2013, breaking out what breaking out of one of its first strong base patterns since the I, when it first went IPO, and it made a huge move since then. And then once a stock does that and the earnings growth and sales growth continue to be strong, you can look for these other patterns as well, such as the flat base. You know, originally it broke out of a cup of handle back in 2013, but this is a flat base and it has all the fundamental characteristics you could want. It has accelerating earnings growth and sales growth recently. It has very strong, consistent sales growth and earnings growth over the past few years. Probably the best growth stock in the market right now. It's a great stock to find this pattern on. You know, you want to see this flat base. You, you don't want to see more than, say, 15% of a price swing between the high and the low of the pattern. So you want, you want to see it narrow as it consolidates. You want to see consolidating near new highs. You don't want to see overhead resistance as it starts to take off out of the pattern because we're going to hold the stock not just for a few days but probably for a few weeks to a few months. So it's a little bit different than a short-term swing trade that we're looking at right now. Yeah, you want to see that tight consolidation. You want to see the breakout on strong volume. That's another important thing to keep in mind. Um, with Facebook here, when it broke out, when we featured it in our newsletter, the volume was nearly you know 50% more than the near-term average. So it had a very strong volume breakout. Uh, the next day, it's it's still up and moving higher. Okay, so this is a good breakout on the stock, and there's a good chance it'll come back. It'll pull back, probably test this area here about around 126 or so. It'll probably do that at some point, and that would be another good time to buy some shares of Facebook as it's bouncing off that and going back higher. But that is the the uh, flat base pattern, and a typical stop loss on this would be about you know two and a half percent to three and a half percent below the ideal technical entry point. You know if it's you know, putting that below your entry point really doesn't mean much because there's no uh, support at that point. You know that you're working with. So if you know, you want to get the stock as it breaks out, and you want to you know use a stop loss based on these breakout points more so than where you get in. So um, Long story short, you want to get in right around the breakout point and not too far above it, okay? And uh, in this case, you know, 3%, 3.5% is probably just below this 125 area, 124 area here. So say 123.90 could be a good stop loss point if you got in at the entry point. And you can also put a stop just below the at the bottom of the pattern in this area here so just below say 122 would also be a good a stop loss point because the flat base is so narrow that you can afford to drop below there and still only have say a five seven percent five percent or so stop loss below your entry point and the target on this pattern is you know, generally around 20% above the breakout point. So with Facebook, you know, you can I could see this stock going to 150 to 160 um, anyways. And good chance for a lot more than that because the earnings growth and sales growth is so strong right now. And another thing about this chart pattern too, and this long-term chart in Facebook, is that we notice that as we move higher and pull back over the last year, we can see that each consolidation is becoming shallower and shallower. We're getting more, you know, aside from the Brexit here in late June, which caused a dip. But other than that, it's been a very, you know, it's it's these consolidations are becoming are becoming tighter and tighter over time, and that's a good sign. So, you know, we're we're kind of going to getting to a point now where, you know, the the consolidations are so uh, narrow 
and the breakout is so strong that this stock could go parabolic and it could go up to two hundred dollars too within a few months. You know, that may be what's going on here because you know that's a really good sign when the consolidations are getting you know smaller and smaller as time goes on, okay, over the past year. So Another good sign with Facebook. But that's flat, the flat base pattern, and I think I've covered it now in detail. Again, you want to see stocks that are making new highs, new all-time highs with this pattern. You know, We're trying to do this on, on top growth stocks. We don't want to buy these on you know stocks that are growing their earnings and sales 10% a year or they're growing their sales and earnings by 100% for one quarter or two quarters and then you know falling off a few months later. You want to find companies that are growing consistently at a very strong clip for a number of years. And there's only a few stocks in the market really that are doing that at any given point. Uh, but we follow all the stocks on our on our site and we find these stocks as they're breaking out of these patterns before we feature them to you. So okay. So if you haven't yet, go to our site and check out our blog. We also have a three-week trial. And as I record this, there's no credit card required for that trial. So just go to the site and enter your name and email address. There's also a link down below the video here. If you expand, if you click the more area down below or the drop down area down below the video, you'll see a link for the free week trial and also a special offer to try the premium service. And uh, we also offer a book that explains our strategies in more detail on our site and you, get a, you can get a copy of that on our site as well. So, all right, that's it. I hope you have a great day and uh, we'll talk to you again real soon.